Hey, welcome back. This is Newt's Nostalgia. I'm Newt. Thanks for showing up and uh, checking us out. Yep, appreciate it. So in this video, what are we going to do? I don't know. Haven't decided yet. Maybe uh, my new buddy can help. What do you think? What what should we do? Huh? Me? Well, what needs to be done, man? I mean, just make a list and go through it, man. Well, it all needs to be done. I mean, we could work on the Honda or the Honda or the 64 or the 67 or the 68 or the 69 or, I mean, we could do anything. I mean, it all needs to be done. Where do we start? It's overwhelming. Well, just take a breath and calm down, man. You know, it's not that serious. It's just YouTube. I don't know how this works. My first time here, but I watched a video one time on YouTube. So what what's what's the priority right now? Well, I don't know. Uh, I need to sell the Honda. One of the Hondas. The Shadow. I need to sell it. I need to get it out of here. It's been around too long. I don't ride it. We need to get it out. Well, what's wrong with the Honda? What's the issue? Is it bad? Is it something simple? Probably something simple, huh? Knowing you. Yep. What is it? Well, it doesn't run right. And it's sat for so long neglected that I'm pretty sure the carbs are fouled up and so we got to pull the carburetors off and clean them up put them back on and hope that's the only issue it's got a minor oil leak but i don't feel like fixing that just get them running good let the next guy deal with that you know who wants to buy a perfect bike and then all you can do is ride it i mean part of the experience is working on them right well that doesn't seem that bad. What are you doing standing there? Go ahead and get started, huh? Quit dilly-dallying around. You do you do too much dilly-dallying, you know? Yeah. I, yes, I agree. That is correct. Absolutely. Well, let's uh let's do that, I guess. Thank you. Hallelujah. To do something. Man. Let's get started. Well, I guess we're doing this. This is my 1998 Honda Shadow 1100 Arrow. Shadow Arrow. And this is a pretty sweet bike. I'll be honest. For a Honda? No, it rides. This bike rides really nice. Even in spite of the fact that it's lowered. Um, it's only got 20,000 miles on it, you know, she's barely broke in. Um, <clears throat> but, and it's a great bike. It's been a great bike. Last spring, <laughs> tell you, tell you a little bit about me. Last spring, I got this thing all detailed, polished to the nines, whatever that means. And, uh, it was looking sharp. It's going to put it up for sale and just never did, you know? Never did it. Um, and then this spring, I went to fire it up, you know, thought maybe I'd try her again. And, uh, just don't want to run right <clears throat> and this thing has sat a lot obviously it's a 98 with 20,000 miles on it but since I've owned it it has sat most of the time so uh, that's really the only issue and I believe it's because you know instead of draining the carbs I just let the old gas sit in there for years smart yep so what we got to do is pull the tank off, I think. Carbs are right underneath that. 
see if we can get those off and cleaned up. I've got some rebuild kits on the way and uh, see if we can get this thing to run like new again and then do another cleanup and get it ready just in time for fall, winter. And then I'll say we'll wait till next spring, right? So, yeah, sounds like a plan. Let's just uh, dig it. Well, here, I'll show you what it's doing. Here's what we got. Yep, still dead. Okay, hold on. Hold on a minute. All right, let's try that again. Really? Why? Okay. It'll idle pretty decent. But if you go to dry, give it any gas? Nope. that and then that so yeah i messed with it and messed with it a few weeks back and couldn't get it to clear up so guess we're digging into the carburetors all right well see if we can get this tank off of here and tear tear it apart see what kind of damage we can do let's get the biggest wrench we got here Okay, now what? <clears throat> What's uh that won't, uh, why? That apparently doesn't work. Sweet, well, guess we'll have to drain the fuel first. So, let me grab something drain that fuel into hmm interesting all right well mm. thought we'd get the tank off today but that'll have to wait till tomorrow no maybe not hold on got my trusty old gas collection uh system here mm-hmm This gas is old, so I'm not planning to save it. Otherwise, I'd drain it into a gas jug. But I don't think it's any good anymore. Yeah, that should work. It just splatter everywhere. It's 
fine. Oh, that smells delicious. Can you smell that? Well, you're missing out. Hands free. Hands free varnish gas collection system. What's the acronym for that? Ah, there wasn't much in there at all. Think we were running out of gas? Oh man, what if that was the only problem? No, I tried it on reserve. Now I almost want to try it. There's no way. Well, that just came out of there, so that would have been going to the carb, so. False alarm. Oh, there's the reserve. Good catch. Glad you mentioned that. Mmm, yes, delicious. I believe I put a brand new air filter in here, new sparkulators, uh, new battery, which is dead now, of course. Who needs a trickle charger? Uh, change, change the oil, fresh. hard for me to let things go, you know, in case you hadn't noticed. And, uh, I really like this bike, but I just, it's time to let her go. Time for it to head on down the road, make room for more. Wow, there's a lot in that reserve. You know what's funny, funny fact here about this versus my Harley. Um, this thing will keep up with a Harley, which is probably not a surprise. But, uh, what's the Harley? 1349cc, this is 1100. Um, but this thing does like 35 miles per gallon, and the Harley will consistently do 45-ish. So that's interesting. You'd think it may be the other way around, but... Nope. You guys getting a headache? Oh, just me? Okay. I cannot believe how much is in that reserve. That's impressive. You got half a tank until you run out and then you're on reserve for the other half. It's probably only half a gallon. Just looks like a lot. I don't know. This was my brother that knows everything or more than me. This was his first bike. Yeah, and so he's probably going to watch this video and say I need his help, which is definitely true, but all right. I think that'll do for now. All right. Will this tank just pop off here now? fun is this going to be? No idea what I'm doing. I'm going to take this. What in the world? So they use the frame for the air intake. Get this out of here. See if we can get this out of here. And then should be able to get those carbs out, I think. Cool. All right, well, I better go eat, and then I'll try to see you here tomorrow. Cool? Excellent.
a little lightheaded. Well, see how far we can tear this thing apart and forget where it all goes. Okay, there's that. Whatever that does. Okay, all right. We're getting there. Maybe. Okay. They actually use this tube in the frame as the air intake from the air filter. Well, I kind of planned on this being easier than this. How does that come out? I don't understand. Okay, well. How in the world is this supposed to happen? Okay, there's the throttle cables. That wasn't horrible. Now, somehow, the guy's got to get in there. How? Can I pull these off now and get it out more so I can reach it? Does that just slip out of there? Or what? Mm -hmm. Nothing can all pop out. Oh yeah, there's that one. Oh, that's... Just like that. How do those come out of here? Hmm? Can I pull them out of the top? I don't think so. Wow. Okay. All right. Let's get some rags in those. Intakes before I dump all the dirt in them. Sweet. Wow. That was easy, guys. I don't know why you thought it was going to be so hard. Remind me to put this on before we drop this back in all right sweet there they are dripping gas everywhere all over the bike that's perfect there they are okay now what well that's good progress i think <laughs> that was uh harder than i thought and then just got really easy way easier than i thought so that's nice very cool. All right, well, let's uh, see what kind of damage we can do here. Get out of here. Uh, no idea what I'm doing. Uh, I don't have a manual. I've done basically no research. Uh, so should be fine. Should be good to go. I assume that the floats and everything are in here. I kind of like to strip these down enough to drop them in the ultrasonic cleaner. That'd be cool, but I also don't know if I want to go that far. See once we get into it. There's that. Here's a float. Okay. I don't think I want to mess with this. Too late. That, uh, hmm. Yeah. I don't know if I'll run these through the ultrasonic cleaner. Because I don't want to pull all that out. And I don't want to soak the whole thing in there and 
damage that diaphragm in there. Uh, I might just have to spray these out. That bad boy is plugged up. Yep. Oh man, yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah, we'll clean. We'll blow all this stuff out of here. Clean it up. And call it good, I think. Once we can get it flow to flow all right. What I'll do is I'll take these apart and toss these in the ultrasonic cleaner. That's what we'll do. And then we'll spray out the carb, slap it back together, hope for the best. Well, let's uh, see what we can do. Drop this in there, let that uh, boil, and then while we clean this up manually. So, let's see here. And uh, I've got simple green and water in this thing. And that's it. Some people use other stuff. Uh, but that's this has been working okay for me. Well, actually, I've only used this thing one or two other times. But uh, it worked well. So, go ahead and... Uh, Start that. I don't know if you can see that. You can see that stuff just coming off. Just boiling it right off of there. This is a pre-works model. I'm running at 50 degrees Celsius. It's not quite there yet. It's still climbing, but I'll run it a couple times. And then I'm running this for 15 minutes. All right. Yep. Let's see what that did. <clears throat> Not if I showed you up close before, but I mean that's wow. Yep. <clears throat> that is nice and clean. Oh, wow. I am going to do one more round on that for these. Very nice. Very nice. Let's do that one more time and probably call that good. Well, I think that's about as good as we're going to get.
turned out pretty good. Now I think I'm just going to open these up, blow some air through everything, make sure I don't have liquid in the wrong spot. And, uh, see if maybe we can put it back together. Yep, got liquid in there. I don't know if that's good or bad or indifferent. But it's there. Oh. Huh. Okay. All right. So I could have just taken this out probably and soaked that whole thing. Is it possible? Hmm. I think I got it. Okay, takes a little finesse. Okay, now let's do that again. All right, sweet. Okay, well, I think we can put these back together. Um, let's see, this went here, this goes here. Goes here and then new parts slightly different than this one and then this should go like so something does not seem right that is not right mm-hmm see this little shoulder on this one it's holding it up higher So it won't go down in as far. So we've got to use this original one. This is not the right one. Hmm. Well, good catch. So can I use the new washer? Sure. I think that's it. Now, do I replace the gasket? Yeah, I think so. Which part am I forgetting? We'll find out sooner or later. So all I used out of the kit was the gasket. Nice. That's what happens when you buy stuff off of Amazon, I guess. Well, I think that's that. I think we're good. Can we put it back together properly? Uh, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to completely clean out that air tube and everything in the frame first and uh, get that all prepped and make sure we're clean and good to go. And then we'll drop this back in and slap it all back together and see if maybe it runs now. What are the chances? When I opened this up, I thought that this tube was not as clean as it should be and i was looking around down here wondering if maybe there's a crack or something in the air box and somebody had this tape on here and this connection is not connecting and there's a big gap right there that's just been sucking air this whole time 
sucking dirt in and who knows what. And none of you told me it was like that. And I can't believe it. Mosquitoes are out in force. Uh, so now I'm going to see if I can get that reconnected up on there. Why? Why would you? I don't understand. I mean, whatever. Well, let's see if we can show you what I'm, what I'm looking at here. Right there, there's the airbox right here. This is a tube that goes up to the intake. And that right there was just slightly covered up with some tape. So I got to fix that. That may have been part of the problem. Man, I hope the bike runs great, but that is not good. Not good. Good thing it has low miles. Alright. Let's see. Then I'm gonna grab the key, and take this side cover off, and see what I can do. Still got the user's manual in it, and I think uh, maybe in the other cover. Where is it? Oh, right here. Oh, I thought the toolkit was in here. But I guess not. 10-4. Just uh, bag this bad boy up now that it's all clean. So it doesn't get all dusty and dirty again. Because I don't know if I will get that on today or not with this situation. What do I got to do? I guess I'm going to take the air filter out so I can get my hand up in there. Almost looks like that hose you have slipped down into there. I don't know what's going on, but we're going to figure it out. That is for show. Go ahead and have a seat. <clears throat> Best tool in the shop right there. Yep. Brand new. Brand new. Okay. Ah, oh, there's a screen there. I can't believe it. How? Why? How? Why? What? Where? No wonder they didn't put this thing back on. What in the wild world of sports is going on here? Yeah, that thing. <laughs> Somebody just got lazy, I think. That's incredible. Good job, guys. It comes up. Man, it looks like it was... It wasn't cut, was it? Or is it spun around? I can pull it up a little bit. Man, I wish I could get my hand in there. That would fix all my problems. Um, what? What's the trick here? That thing... That's so weird. It's like something's missing. Or... That thing... I don't think it got cut short. Well, no, that's pretty long. I can see it down in there. Are you guys even open? I'm just sitting there watching me struggle. If I take the battery out, can I see more? Maybe. Yeah, that might be the ticket. Does that even help us? Nah, not really. Not really, guys. Well, I can definitely see why they did what they did. Still ain't right, though. There we go. Mm -hmm. Yes, we're getting there. Sort of, kind of, maybe. Are we? Or are we not? Okay, hold on. That's what we got. Oh, yeah. See? Just that portion is supposed to pop into the top of the air box. And then this should go on the pipe. So if I could get this on the pipe first and tighten down, 
and then pop the air box onto this. Might be the ticket. <clears throat> so with that, that kind of needs to go this way. You agree? Yeah. I thought so. Is the camera even on? Did I turn it on? Yeah, it's rolling. All right, you're still here. Mosquito's still here. Now he's gone. All right. Let's see if... <laughs> Wait a second. Did that just pop right onto there? Stop it. Don't get my hopes up. Ridiculous. I don't think it's long enough. I think it might be on. And almost popped into the box. Hey, no way. You guys are not going to believe this. At all. Not for a second. But, I just got it. Wow. So, <laughs> this thing's got a little tab. This rubber boot has a little tab sticking off of it. And there's a little notch right here on the top of the air box. That that thing lines right up in. And then that thing sits exactly how it should. So, we are money. We are on. And I'm going to mess with it a little more. And then and knock it off. And start all over. But it is on, clipped into the air box, all around, everywhere. Perfect. We are golden. Nice. All right. Now I gotta tighten this bad boy down. Where was the notch for that? I don't know. Who knows? But. Well, I suppose that should be about right there. Just popped into place. Oh. Oh. Wow. Okay. That part is finito. Wow. I feel a lot better about that. Drop this bad boy back in. Okay. So throttle linkage should go on that side. So these should go down in there just like that. Can you believe it? I think I brought these out like this. Wow. There is not an extra centimeter of space. <sighs> well, they go in better from the side? I don't think so. There we go. Hmm. Did we do it? I think we might have done it. Okay. All right. Well, I think I can tighten these down. Okay. Nice. It's coming together. Okay. That, that. That, that, that. That, that, that. This. That. What did this go to the tank? No. All right. <clears throat> okay. Groovy. No. <clears throat> now are we ready? I feel like we're ready. Fill her up, eh? No. Come on. You stupid thing. <clears throat> Leaking gas. Leaking gas. Well, where's it leaking from? Right at the fuel pump. Why? Are you serious? That hose is toast. Wow. Why? I don't get it. Where does that go? Comes from the tank. No, because this goes down. It goes up to the motor. <sighs> wow. 
Okay. That hose is all dry rotted. That goes from the fuel pump to the carburetors. I replaced the fuel pump and all the other fuel line, but that one was fine. Now, not so much. I thought I'd replace that fuel line too, but I guess not. Okay, well I'm done for today. That's it. Deal with that another time. Probably from trying to get this in, probably pushed and pulled that thing and broke it loose. And take the tank back off. And uh, fish a new line down. That's the way it goes. Hey man, you done yet? No, I'm not done and I don't want to talk about it, all right? Well, this was supposed to be an in easy, quick fix. Whatever. Well, hurry up. We got to get a video posted. It's been too long. Just come on, let's move it. Whatever. It'll get posted when it gets posted. Bye. Don't worry about that guy. I'll take care of him. Okay, well, we're taking the gas tank back off. Yep. And uh, see if we can get a new fuel line routed from the fuel pump down here, up through here, to the carburation station. All right. We do it nice, because we do it twice. That's our motto here, it makes the sail jump on the bright side. The weather has been quite pleasant this week. And so, you know, that's good. This thing still had most of the cooling on it when I started taking it off, but that's how bad it's falling apart. So this short little piece goes from the fuel pump to a little coupler in front of the air box and then up to the carburetors. You all right? Sorry about that. All bad. Can you even hear me? I didn't have my mic very close. Let's see what we got. Five sixteenths. Uh, what do we got? I got it, guys. Don't worry. I'm so organized that it only took me about three hours to find it. So, boom, that'll work. Oh yeah, that's gonna be perfect. I think that's it, I think we did it. Wow, it might work, it might, it could, it's possible. Well, now what? See what it does? Sure. All right, all right. Okay, all right. Where did you put my jump pack? Well, I don't know. I have no idea. Guess I'll uh, go find it. All right, no gas yet. That's a pleasant sign.
ho, 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 okay. It wants to talk now. All right. Alive. There we go. Of course. Not sure why it's snapping and popping around yet. Still no gas leaking. Something ain't quite right. Carbs might need to be tuned now. I don't know, I'll have to look that up and see how to do that. Well, something definitely is not right, but it runs now. I tinkered with this thing a little bit yesterday and uh, it runs better i mean obviously quite a bit better than it did but it's still not 100 percent i might have to tinker with the carbs and stuff you've got to you've got to synchronize the carburetors via vacuum and i tried that but the vacuum gauge i have doesn't work for it and um, then i you know tuned on the carbs and uh tried to figure out how good i could get it and it runs, but it's not 100%. Let's see what it does with a cold star now. And uh, stuff. I haven't ridden it yet. Uh, is that on or reserve? Uh, it didn't dump all the fuel out this time, which I'm guessing is a positive. I think that's reserve. I don't know why that's so hard to read on there. All right. This choke. All right.
just uh, needs to be ran for a while. I don't know what's going on, but I might. So that's where it's at. <clears throat> um, I need to take it for a ride and obviously I need to clean it up. So yeah, that's, I'm going to end this video here. Um, I need to get this, uh, I need to get something posted. Uh, it's been too long. I don't like to go too long between videos. So uh, I'm going to end it here. We may do another video with a cleanup. Uh, I might end up taking this to a shop, a local shop. See if they can tune the carbs and uh, and straighten this thing out with uh, more knowledge than what I have. Um, but yeah, so that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, so much for checking in. Go check out some of our other videos. Um, we've done some cool stuff. Uh, the Nash Metropolitan, the Chevy Love. Um, and we've got a long line of projects in front of us to do. It's just... It appears to be never ending, which is cool. So I, I'll be honest with you, I have not been bored in at least 15 years. And I don't see myself ever being bored again in my life. I don't understand people that are bored, that have nothing to do. I mean, what are you passionate about, right? Do it. YOLO. Anyway, uh, if you guys can like, share subscribe uh that would be tremendous that would be that would mean a lot to me really appreciate that anywho that's uh we're gonna shut her down now uh shut her down here for this video and uh i will definitely definitely see you guys in the next one you can you can uh you can bet on that one all right cool End it. Cut, cut. Who's running the camera? Oh, that's me. Oh, that's me. All right.